In this video, I'll be using Chocolaty to package and install PDF24. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now I'll begin this video by downloading all the necessary files for my package and I will start with the installation file. And for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to PDF24 download page. Here I will click on this download button. I will be downloading the latest version. But here from EXE I will change it to MSI package. Then I will click on the download button and the download should start for me. After that I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have this Nugget package called template. And I will be using it to create my chocolatey package. So I'll click on it. Then I will click on the button right here to download the package. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And currently here I have my installation file and also the Nougat package. I will open the Nougat package. It opens up with the Nougat package explorer. And because I will be packaging the installation file inside of my chocolatey package, I will right click on tools. Then I will click on add existing file and I will select the installation file that I have in my downloads folder. And as you can see, the installation file appeared here in my package. Now I'll double click on chocolate install and then on this edit button. And then I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have this PowerShell snippet that will be responsible for executing the installation from the package. Basically, it finds the installation file inside of the package, then it executes the installation and after that, it removes the installation file from the computer. So to copy this snippet, I will click on the button right here and then I will go to my package and insert it here. And for this snippet to work, we need to provide a few values. For example, here we need to provide our installation file name. And for that, I will go to my downloads folder. I will right click on the installation file, select the rename, then I will select full name to include the extension, right click again, and then copy. Then I will go back to my package and insert the value here. Now for the package name, I will enter PDF24 and for the file type, I need to enter MSI and that's because the file that I'm using has the MSI extension in it. After that, we need to provide silent switches because we want Chocolaty to execute the installation silently and for that, I will go back to my GitHub page and here I have this silent switches that I will be using. So I'll click on the button right here to copy the values, go back to my package and insert the values here. And that's it for modifying this snippet. Now we can save it and let's go back to the package. And now I need to provide a few bits of information about the package here. I will click on this edit button. Then for package ID, I will enter PDF24. For package version, I will enter 11, 15 and 2. We can see the software version inside of the installation file name right here. Now for the authors, I will leave it at let's do automation and for the description, I will enter PDF 24 package and that's all the mandatory fields that we need to fill. Now we can click on this save button to save the information and that's it. Now the last thing that we need to do is to save this package. So for that, I will go to file, save as and I will save it in my downloads folder. I will also be using my downloads folder as chocolate repository when I will try to install this package. So let's click on save and now we can try to install this package. And for that, I will open my terminal application and I will run it as administrator because we need administrative privileges to install software. And here I will enter Choco install. Then we need to provide our package ID that you see here in the package. It's PDF 24. So I'll type PDF 24. And because I will be using my downloads folder as my chocolate repository, I need to add dash S and then provide the chocolate repository location. So it's my D drive and downloads folder. And I will also add a dash Y and let's press enter and see what's gonna happen. And the package was successfully installed. If I go to my start menu, we can see it in the recently added program list. I will click on PDF 24 launcher. It opens up and it seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.